Aetna and Humana mutually ending this merger agreement. There is a press release that's out right now, and Aetna's chairman and CEO, Mark Bertolini, who we know well here, says that while we continue to believe that a combined company would create greater value for healthcare consumers through improved affordability and quality, the current environment makes it too challenging to continue pursuing the transaction. They say they're disappointed to take the course of action after 19 months of planning, but they say both companies need to move forward with their respective strategies in order to continue to meet member expectations. Now, Aetna is going to be paying Humana $1 billion for the termination fee on this. Um, additionally, Aetna has terminated its previously announced agreement to sell certain Medicare Advantage set, uh, assets to Molina Healthcare, and it's going to be paying applicable fees associated with that as well. Um, long time coming for this. Uh, there started to be a lot of questions raised about just how big some of these insurance companies could get. Uh, hospitals were some of the ones that were kind of pushing back on this too because hospitals wanted to merge right. to get bigger and have been trying to do that as a result of being able, in, in a way, to be able to negotiate with bigger and bigger insurance companies. You know, so much of this was inspired by the development of Obamacare, yep. right? I mean, this, th that's what really pushed all of these companies to try to get bigger, um, mm -hmm. to consolidate their costs. And I think it's somewhat surprising in an odd way that. To the extent we talk about the Trump administration being business friendly and a view that somehow antitrust, uh, the, the way the Justice Department would think about these things might change, maybe hasn't changed, or at least in this instance, clearly uh, although, hasn't. Yeah, well, I was going to say the, 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 the fights with this. No, the fight been, started yeah. in the Obama administration, and clearly the, the Obama administration was against this. That is 100 percent clear. Which makes no sense. The question, though, is whether you would have thought there'd be a shift, a thawing, if you will, right. under this administration. It might have been too late by then, right? Perhaps. How long, how long ago was this? This is, a, as we said, 19 months. 19 months. In the making. Yeah. Right. So it's been quite a while. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.